guys today's session we'll be having on interventional radiology hardware so this is one topic which will be for sure asked in your table viva in your practical examinations and even when you will be having interventional radiology related theory questions whether it is related to biopsy radio frequency ablation bronchial artery embolization uterine artery embolization koi bhi procedure ho there is going to be this session will help you in everything because ye hamara basics aur jo concepts hain this will be a concept building session so that once we are understanding jo basic hardware use hota hai to us hisab se koi bhi procedure mein we don't have to rectify everything will be logically understood agar hame sare basic instruments unke uses unke parts where to use them how to take care of those instruments agar ye cheeze samajh mein aa jati hain so we are good to go for any high end interventions as well okay so we will be starting with this session chaliye so i want to start with this quote which is very important in our radiology residency in our training it is not always a linear curve there are lots of ups and downs we have good days bad days and ugly days so if you can't fly then run if you can't run then try to walk if you can't walk then crawl but whatever you do you have to keep moving forward there is no time to sit back and cry over spilt milk jitna bhi time bacha if you are exam going students you still have a good amount of time to revise everything and if you are in your first year and second year you have a lot of time to build your concepts and to gain a level of competence as well as confidence in this field of radiology just remember this quote and always keep moving forward there's no looking back सो आज का जो हमारा लेक्चर है उसके क्या कंटेंट्स हैं सो वील स्टार्ट विद इंट्रोडक्शन इन टू आई आर द सेल्डेंगर टेक्निक विच इज सो फिनल देन वी विल हैव वेरियस इंस्ट्रूमेंट स्टार्टिंग विद आर नीडल्स गाइड वायर्स वैस्क्यूलर शीट कैथेटर एंड टाइम परमिट सो वी विल टेक स्टेंट अदरवाइज वी विल बी हैविंग सब्सिक्वेंट पार्ट ऑफ दिस आई आर हार्डवेयर सो वी विल बी टेकिंग अप रेस्ट ऑफ दी इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड इम्बॉलिक मटीरियल एंड अदर मिसेलिनियस इंस्ट्रूमेंट इन पार्ट टू एंड पार्ट थ्री okay so sab kuch is fine audio video right i'm moving forward everything is cool koi bhi issue aate hai so let me know in the chat box i will be there to help you we'll try to take up the doubts at the end of this session right so so that we are not wasting time in between so jo bhi aapke doubts hain jot it down and at the end of the session we'll be addressing all the doubts okay so a basic about ir what are the types of procedures that we have so we have the non vascular interventions non vascular interventions mein what do you have ye aapko just try to interact hai na aap apne mind mein speak karo jo bhi aapko man mein yaad aa raha hai interventions just speak it out the more interactive this session is going to be the longer you are going to retain this stuff for the long term aur wo cheez zyada important hai right long term stuff so biopsy we all know day in and day out biopsies fnacs ye hum karte rehte hain routinely opd basis pe bhi then we have the drainage procedures so you get a lot of abscess localized loculated collections pseudocysts jinko drain karna hota hai biliary procedures such as the ptbd and stenting is also done in lot of institutions nowadays then you have aajkal fetal interventions mein this is the new you know the trend where you can go for a chorionic villus sampling you can do fetal blood transfusions you can go for amniocentesis all this is also in vogue nowadays then skeletal procedures may such as bone biopsy vertebroplasty procedures radio frequency ablation so can you see my marker whatever i'm trying to annotate is that visible just write down in the chat quickly if it's visible everything is fine chali very good cool अच्छा पेन मैनेजमेंट में भी देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ रोल वी कैन गिव नर्व ब्लॉक्स एंड ऑनकोलॉजी में तो देर इज सो मच ऑफ अपकमिंग रोल ऑल्सो ऑल काइंड ऑफ ट्यूमर्स एनी वेयर इन द बॉडी एच सी सी आर सी सी यू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ रोल इसके अलावा यू हैव वीमेन्स इमेजिंग सच एज योर ब्रेस्ट बायोपीज योर यूटराइन आर्ट्री एम्बोलाइजेशन अमंग अदर थिंग्स सो टूडे आई आर का बहुत स्कोप है ऑलमोस्ट इन ऑल जॉनर्स ऑफ मेडिकल फील्ड आई आर इज पेनिट्रेटिंग एंड इट इज हैविंग इट्स क्लियर एंड डिस्टिंग this was some non vascular stuff then we have our vascular interventions as well jaise ki arterial number 2 venous and number 3 lymphatic theek hai so what are some common ir procedures arterial wale you can write down in the chat box whatever ir procedures you know arterial access jisme hota hai artery ke through jo hum karte hain ओके 
okay very good coiling pseudo aneurysm that is neuro interventions what apart from that even your peripheral arteries na kitni bar peripheral arteries also we have to treat whether it is a peripheral arterial disease where we have to do arterioplasty we have to put stenting uterine artery embolization bronchial artery embolization genicular artery embolization for that matter kahi pe bhi bleeding ho raha hai so we can put embolic agents right any kind of varicial bleeding bronchial artery embolization lot of pph is happening ya submucosal fibroid is bleeding a lot so uterine artery embolization to check for the vascularity of tumors ye sara diagnostic hai right so when you do a flush angiogram and you have to look kahan se contrast leak ho raha hai so that you can localize which is the target vessel jisko hame embolize karna hai ya ligate karna hai and also in peripheral artery disease so this is the diagnostic means angiographic role of ir and then there is a lot of therapeutic role as well in cases of angioplasty remodeling of the vessel kahin pe bhi stenosis ho gaya hai so balloon directed dilatation stenting and thrombus ho jata hai so you can go for a thrombolysis you can go for a thrombectomy as well as embolization kahin pe bhi bleeding ho raha hai kisi bhi artery se uski branch vessel se so you can do occlusion of that bleeding perforator so this is the role of arterial access procedures diagnostic as well as therapeutic now we will have certain venous to so venous mein kon kon se procedures aapne apne institute mein dekhe hain in your institutions what all venous procedures have you assisted or if they have given you a chance to perform one as well just name the few venous procedures you routinely hote hain right very common done venous procedures such as your dvt ab agar acute thrombosis hai to uska hum kya karna chahenge thrombolysis no problem no ir department you can always do one year fellowship and you can learn a lot sr ship also you can do from some different institute chronic setting mein we can do a stenting what about ivc filter hai na kabhi bhi hame risk of pulmonary embolism hota hai it is a lot of dvt is happening and especially below calf dvt so to prevent the risk of pulmonary embolism we can use ibc filters and place them then there is sclerotherapy procedure which is done for incompetent perforator as well as for venous malformations varicose vein treatment this is so much done bread and butter procedure whether radio frequency ablation or it is done with the laser that is evlt procedures for varicose veins varicose seal and your tips procedure is also done with the help of a venous access okay so i hope this is making sense and this is telling us the scope of ir in the modern world today then we have lymphatic mein lymph nodes ka fnac biopsy lymph angiogram procedures as well as coil or glue embolization of a leaking thoracic duct and so on and so forth now we come to the historic seldinger technique right so this was given by sir seldinger in 1953 and it was one of the most uh, miraculous thing which was given jisne spark kara ek wave of interventional radiology across the world that people could not imagine with a small hole it is just like a laparoscopy like you have laparoscopy which is completely replacing open surgeries वैसे ही seldinger technique is a micro access procedure which is replacing all the open surgeries today so seldinger technique is must know this can be asked in theory short note aa sakta hai this can be asked in your viva for sure to isko samajhte hain apan what is our seldinger technique sabse pehle what you have you need to remember isme kya cheeze hain you have to put in a chronological order sabse pehle you need your puncture needle uske upar you pass a guide wire and after that you have to place your vascular sheath into place in the target artery or vein and finally once you have your vascular sheath then there is no problem you can use a lot of dilators you can pass your specific catheters or your stents or your balloons over the vascular sheath which is acting as a stable scaffold so sheath is acting as a scaffold a stable provider jiske upar se you can exchange your different instruments such as catheters dilators stents and balloons so hamesha isi order mein yaad rakhna hai needle aayega sabse pehle उसके ऊपर से पास द गाइड वायर एंड नंबर थ्री वैस्कुलर शीत एंड ओवर वैस्कुलर शीत यू कैन एक्सचेंज लॉट ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स सो दिस इज माय पंक्चर नीडल इसको मैं डालती हूँ ओके नाउ आई हैव टू प्लेस इट एट एन एंगल ऑलमोस्ट थर्टी डिग्री टू फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री डिपेंडिंग 
अब अगर वेन है तो इट इज गोइंग टू बी सुपरफिशियल स्ट्रक्चर सो आई कैन हैव मोर ऑफ अ acute angle say 30 degrees but if it is a deep lying vessel such as the deep artery then i can use as much as 45 degree angle to get access into that particular vessel of interest so this is with a angle and a punctured needle that i am going to be puncturing my artery or vein whichever is the desired vessel iske baad main kya karungi once my needle is placed i will uh, see the jaise hi needle ke hub pe the blood will come that means ke aap sahi jagah pe localize aapne kiya hai needle is in the vessel after that you have to at that gush of blood itself you have to pass your guide wire which is step number c put your needle jaise hi blood aata hai at the hub of the needle you place your guide wire over the needle and ensure that guide wire is within the lumen of the artery isko kuch log fluoroscopically bhi ensure kar lete hain the position of the guide wire is within the target vessel or not after that you have to gently remove the needle While ensuring कि गाइड वायर डिस्प्लेस नहीं होना चाहिए तो आप थोड़ा सा अट्रैक्शन दे सकते हो ऑपोजिट हैंड से कीप द गाइड वायर इन प्लेस एंड रिमूव योर नीडल ओवर दिस गाइड वायर देन यू हैव टू पुट योर ये वाला स्टेप में वैस्क्यूलर शीट और योर कैथेटर जो भी आपको उसमें अपना ट्यूब डालना है वेसल के अंदर सो दैट इज हाउ इज योर सिंपल सेल्डिंगर टिकनिंग एनी वन हैज एनी डाउट रिगार्डिंग दिस सेल्डिंगर 